this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this tutorial, I will be showing you how to attach the motifs and this is how to crochet the popcorn star motif part seven. Uh, attach the motif while uh, finishing the last row. And I will also show you how to do the edging. And I just want to let you know that that two balls of yarn that I started with, I, I made total of three motifs. So I am very happy how the process is going. The yarn is very super to work with. It's very nice. Like I, I was kind of hesitated at the mo at when I started, but no, it, it turned out perfectly. Okay. So, um, I'm at the corner of the last row okay so what I'm going to do is remember we do chain five at the corner we're gonna do chain two chain three I'm sorry I'm just gonna grab my motif here just like this and I am going to hold it like this Hold it like this and then do a slip stitch and chain two, three, and then I'm going to make a double crochet. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make my double crochet on top of the double crochet, just like this. And here I'm supposed to make a popcorn, but before that, I want to attach this. Uh, here to, to the double crochet just like this grab it from the both and then do a slip stitch chain one and I'm gonna continue making my popcorn stitch here one two three four five blue thing came from somewhere I don't know where okay so I did my popcorn I'm gonna grab my popcorn and where the popcorn here I'm just gonna do just gonna go like this and pull it once I attached it I'm gonna do my double crochet and from where the double crochet is so I'm doing one at a time that's how you, you can't find you can't see you can't see the difference it looks like one piece when you look at it the attachment this is the reason because I am doing one at a time as you can see it's really hard to see the joint here this is a new trick that I figured I don't know if other people are doing this Okay, so I'm gonna I did my double crochet. I'm gonna do my popcorn stitch just like this. So I just do my regular popcorn stitch. Two, three, four, five, double crochet. Go to the double crochet uh, popcorn stitch and slip stitch it like this and then go to the double crochet just like this grab it from there chain one you don't have to chain but it's nice to give that length so I did my double crochet now I'm going to do my popcorn stitch so this is how we do the attachment I will continue all the way to the end and uh, I will finish it here and I will continue to join it and there's another way to finish it because this row was finished and that row was finished the other part but this one wasn't finished because it was half so I will show you the rest and I'll come back Okay, so I have attached all the way here. As you can see, it looks like one piece. And I think this method is the best. So I am here where we started. So I did my last um, 
double crochet I attached it and I'm just gonna do a slip stitch so we're done this part right so we don't this is already done the last row so what I'm going to do is I am going to use the single crochet method of uh, joining so I'm just gonna grab like this and there's always a chain you have to chain so this is how I'm doing it this is a uh, let's say you finished let's say you finished all of your motifs and uh, you're attaching them here is another way to do it so you go single crochet and you grab it from here and you go like this a slip stitch rather or you can go like this there's so many ways to play around with this this pull it pull it like this hang on here's another way could do it but I believe this is the best way to attach it with a single crochet a slip stitch chain one because if you don't chain one it will stretch and this is how it looks like I will continue finishing this row like this and I will come to show you the edging how to do the edging just wanted to show you <laughs> this is from one of the ball skein that I on um, the yarn that I started and this the second one is longer and I only have so I did to finish three motifs and I am attaching these last so i just wanted to show you like it's perfect <laughs> uh, okay so i'm just gonna start with this yarn because i just wanted you to see how it's uh, done so i'm just gonna do three chain to go up one two three either you can do a single crochet or a double crochet but i'm gonna do a double crochet because um this is a bedspread Single crochet is for small things like dishcloth and stuff. Let's say you did one motif and you're doing the edging for this and you made a dishcloth. So I would I would recommend you to do single crochet. Okay, so we're going to be doing, let's pretend, sorry. I'm not going to go because I haven't finished it yet. Uh, let's pretend you went all the way around. And... Uh, you did double crochet all the way around just using this yarn that uh, I am working on a okay just wanted to show you okay so we have two four six seven eight nine and ten I will do two double crochets on that chain area because uh, you can't do one it will needs the stretch stretch you need broom and I am weaving as I crochet see that this end is gone so let's pretend you did this let's say this is the right right uh, like this is on this side and I will put the link on I did a long tutorial on how to do this so I'm gonna chain total of 11 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 you can chain more it depends on how long you want the edge to be so I'm just gonna do a puff stitch it's uh, because this is a popcorn right popcorn stitch and you need to match the edging needs to be matched and so I'm just going to go stretch it about like this and then yarn over and on this chain that we chain last I'm going to pull it six times well it depends on your yarn so three 
four you will see you won't have room like five see I don't have any more room left and then I am going to pull this at once oopsie <laughs> and hold this part like this and I am going to pull it like this just like this and I do a chain to secure it pulled it and I'm going to come back here to make a single crochet okay this is one way to do it this is one way to do it but I prefer to do another puff stitch stitch then this puff stitch becomes bigger and I'll show you that how to do that so I pull it again same length so I'm gonna go into that chain two three four then five pull it once go in here and pull it once okay so we have two this one looks smaller doesn't it okay well that's okay so we're gonna pull this in half we're gonna come back here and do a single crochet and this it folds and it gives you that thickness this is what I prefer to do you can do two ways if you want and then I'm gonna chain 11 again two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then this time I am going to be skipping ten double crochets so here let's say this well this is the tenth and I am going to do a single crochet just like this and then you continue let's say you've done the double crochets and this is how it looks like this gives that nice edge that nice edge and then it gives you that uh, popcorn stitch and there's another way to do it I'll show you that one as well okay let's say you did double crochets and you don't want it long you don't want it long so what you can do is you can go and do a single crochet single crochet and then do a popcorn stitch just pull it like this a puff stitch and then go between one two three four five pull it once pull it again there's this is another way to do it and then you do did I do my chain just secure it just in case and I pull it again and I do six times puff stitch three four Okay. can you see the difference like this one I didn't do those this way and this way looks way better and when you fold it when you fold it or this way either way you go between and this is a short version of how to do it then you continue doing five if you want to do like give them space you can do five single crochets or you can do a uh, ten single crochets one more I guess and then you just repeat what I just showed you and it gives that puffiness I'll show it one more time 
Pull it like that. One. Two. My yarn. I need yarn. Three. Four. Five. Then grab it from there. Hold that. Then pull. You can do, you can even do one if you want to. It's up to you, but I would prefer, or you can do this. And go here. I'll make this shorter. Stretch it too much. Make this a little bit shorter. There's so many ways, so many tricks. <laughs> You can play around with it, or you can do this. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to show you there's several ways to do the edging on this gorgeous uh, motif that I showed you. And this is, I think this is nice too, huh? <laughs> what do you think? This is kind of bulky. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, my video is almost ending. So again, thank you very much for watching my tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy crocheting!